So, it's morning. Well, um, it's not. Uh, I thought that would turn it on. It's like 10 or something like that. I've actually been up since 7. <laughs> because I had... It was actually a bad dream. It wasn't a nightmare because it didn't like wake me up or anything. But it was definitely like not fun during the time of the dream. But now that I'm like, what is this? What is happening? You know what? It's great. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Um, but now that I'm like awake and looking at it, I'm like, okay. That was probably like mostly a stress dream. And it's not actually too big of a deal. But essentially... I'm forgetting parts of it. I should have done this earlier, but I just didn't want to think about it, to be honest. I've been playing games on my phone, and uh, I watched a couple of YouTube videos to kind of, like, cleanse my mind palette, so to speak. <laughs> um, but basically, I was cursed. I was like, I'm cursed. And the whole dream was really dark. There wasn't a whole lot of light in the entire thing. Well, it was at first because it was daytime. And I was like, every time I close my eyes, I see things. There's this monster thing that's, there's this thing that's trying to get me because I've been cursed. And it was like freaking out. I was like, this isn't, this isn't a good time. If I go to sleep, it'll get me. And you know, that's always a fun thought. And so like, it's evening. It's getting close to bedtime. And so the sun's beginning to set and the shadows are starting to get longer. I'm like, don't look in the shadows. Don't look in the shadows. Stay in the light. Because, like, if I look in the shadows or if I get in the shadows, then the thing can get me. And I'm like, fuck, 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 fuck. No, no, no. Don't like that. So I go to my friends and I'm like, hi. I've been cursed and it's a problem. And they're like dream friends because these aren't only one of them was someone who I recognized from my actual real life. The rest of them just were like friends, people who exist, I guess, somewhere maybe. Um, but I was like, this is an issue. And so it was almost like a school because this guy was like a doctor or something. He had like the lab coat and everything. I have a very basic imagination. <laughs> and he was like, okay, we have the solution. And it's like, we'll be able to like fix you. We'll be able to make things okay again. But... For some reason, I just couldn't. I wasn't allowed to go to sleep. It was like, you have to stay up. I was like, how long do I need to stay awake for? And this person who I actually know IRL was there. And she was like, oh, you have to stay awake until 5 a.m. I don't know why specifically 5 a.m. But I was like, okay. That's going to suck. But. <laughs> <coughs> Excuse me. But all right. I'll stay up until 5 in the morning if that's what's going to keep me there. But every time I looked in the shadows and every time I closed my eyes, like, scary things would happen. And I forget what happened the first time, but, like, I closed my eyes and on the back of my eyelids I saw something really freaky. And I was like, mm, been like that. And then I closed my eyes again. What I saw was two shadow hands reaching together around a shadow outline of a cat, like, its face. And it was, like, around its neck. And immediately my eyes, like, popped open in the dream, of course, because it didn't wake me up. And I was like, oh my god, it's gonna kill my cats. And I was like, no, 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 no. Because that's what always happens in the horror movies, you know, is they go for your pets first. Like a warning, like a threat, like a you're next. Screw you, I hope this hurts you kind of thing. And I was like, I need to go home. And then my next thought was, no. Your cats are inside, they're safe. If you leave this building, it will get you. That's what it wants. It's doing this to like, frick up your mind. Don't go. And I was like, okay. I guess I'll stay here. And so I told, like, I was, like, almost, kind of seemed like I was at a friend's house, sort of. Like, it, the dream, it's a dream, so it changed. And I, so I was, like, talking to the mom. And I was, like, hey, kind of having trouble staying awake. And also, like, the shadows are pretty creepy. And I'm not having a good time. And she was, like, oh, we know what to do. We got you. And I was, like, oh, you have this problem a lot? Okay. And so there was, it was, like, a game. And... Um, kind of like a hula hoop, except with lights in it. It was these round things, and it made like a, a rainbow. Like, they weren't full circles. It was like a little arch, and there was like a series of arches that were kind of like all in front of each other on the floor on this like mat thing that they were connected to. And so I saw this one guy do it, and he like put his own hand across the arch and like whoosh like rubbed his hand across it and it lit up and you had to like try to like make them all light up before 
the first one went out, I guess. I'm not really sure, but it was a rainbow. Like, the first one was red, and then orange, and yellow. And so it was, like, really pretty, and it was light, and so it made me feel better. I was like, okay, that's some light, and this will distract me. Sure, I'll stay awake like this. This is fine. And then I'm, like, I stop doing that, and I walk around the house, and I run into the girl who I know. She's, like, doing something. And I'm, like, she's, like, in a... It's almost like a wa it's like a closet almost, except she's got like a computer or something in there. And I'm like on the edge, just kinda like looking in like, hey, what you doing? And like I feel really unsafe for no particular reason at this point in time. I'm like, hmm, there are parts of me that aren't in this little section. There are parts of me like like if the camera screen, if this is the cubby hole, like I was like this, 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 like this where I'm just kinda leaning in, but like my shoulder and, like, parts of my leg were, like, outside of the thing. And I was like, nope. And I moved. I, like, scooched in so that all of me was inside. And I was like, hi. What you up to? What's going on? And I don't, actually, I think she was doing some kind of computer nonsense. I'm not really sure. But then she ended up turning on a video game. And I was like, yeah, I could probably play video games until 5 in the morning and stay awake. And this will be okay. And so I start playing games with her. And I don't remember exactly what... It wasn't an actual game, is the thing. It was kind of like an 8-bit game. And it was sort of like Mario with, like, platforms and stuff. And, like, it being a side-scroller. But it was also kind of, like, Flappy Bird. And that you had to, like, go up and... Like, you were constantly moving. It was kind of like... No, it was more like Galaga. Except sideways. Because you could move up and down more smoothly. And you had to, like, avoid things or get to... It was... A conglomeration of gaming and so I just played that with her and it ended up turning into a different friend who I know and so it was just me and her playing games and I was like okay this is chill this is fine wait till five in the morning and then I'll be okay and the lights will come back the sky will be lit with the Sun and we can break the curse and I'll be okay cuz like you can't break the curse at night or something I think was the issue because it was um, stronger which kind of makes sense in a weird dream way. But yeah, so last night, dream wasn't wasn't great. And I vaguely remember having a different dream. Something about werewolves, I think. Maybe. But that one wasn't that creepy. It was just kind of like vaguely interesting. But yeah, that dream, I was just like, oh no. I'm cursed. This is my life now. I'm going to die. So that wasn't great. <laughs> but like I said, it was scarier in dream than it was being awake. Because one, now I'm like, okay, that was a dream. And two, nothing bad actually happened. I just got like bad feelings. And like when I closed my eyes, I saw like the weird scary pictures. But nothing actually happened. And so that was last night's dream. Yay. So um, I hope you enjoyed this little ramble. Um, if you guys don't want to hear about bad dreams in the future, please let me know and I'll, like, refrain. I'm also going to put it specifically that this was a bad dream in the title, so, like, if you click on it and then you're, like, surprised it's a bad dream, that's on you. <laughs> so, yeah, um, see you next time I have a dream that I can remember that's interesting, I guess.